Have you heard of the new Squarespace asset library? It's been in the works for a while and it just keeps getting better. It's the best way to upload, organize, and manage images and videos around your site. Let's dive in and have a look. Okay, so let's talk about the asset library. You'll see it here in your sidebar. So you just click into it and it's pretty straightforward, but it's really worth knowing about because as you set up your website or as you use your website, you're gonna have access to this asset library basically anywhere that you add an image around your site. And I'll show you how that will look soon. But essentially, it's just a library of images and videos. At the moment, it doesn't support files. So we do have another video talking about how to upload files to your Squarespace site, which I will link below this video. Hopefully soon this will support files, but at the moment it's just images and videos. But still, it's really, really helpful to have one place where all your images are and be able to draw images from your library and use them around your site. So this is basically the main access to the library if you want to do any organizing or deleting of images, this is a great place to do it. But it's fairly straightforward right now. So you can either upload a new image or video, or you can create a folder. So if you wanted to do some organizing, I highly recommend organizing your images around your site when you do start uploading images to your site, just because in the future, if you want to use them in multiple places, or if you're looking for something, it's just going to make everything so much easier. So folders are an awesome addition to this asset library. And you just need to select the files you want to move, click this little folder icon, and move them to the folder. And you can also create folders within folders, so that's even better. If you want to access the folder, just double click. That can be a little bit tricky to figure out how to actually get into the folder. You just need to double click on it. And here we've got those two files that we just added. So I'm going to go back to all files. As I just showed you, you can select multiple files and either move them to a folder or delete them. So you can delete files. When you press delete, it will tell you if the files are potentially being currently used somewhere around your site. And if they are, it will warn you before you delete them. So that's a really great feature. It'll warn you if you're deleting anything that might be live on your site. You can also click on the little three dots to look at the file details. There's really nothing that interesting in here in case you just wanted to see the size or the file type. But hopefully they flesh that details area out a bit more and we could maybe change the file name or edit the image or something like that. But right now it's pretty simple. Now when you do delete anything, it will end up in your trash. And the items in your trash will be deleted after 30 days, or you can come in here and permanently delete them straight away if you wanted to. So that's about it. It's basically just a tool to organize all your images and videos that you've used around your site. You can either upload them here first, or it's probably more likely that you're going to end up uploading them as you go and as you design. So let me show you what that would look like. So I'm just going to go back into any page and I'm going to click edit. And I'm going to go ahead and add an image block to the page and then click to upload a new image. So with an image block or essentially anywhere you can add images around your site, you can either upload an image, select from a library, so that's the library we just looked at, or you can browse stock images. So if you upload an image directly from your computer, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this one directly to the image block. That image will have also been added to the asset library. So you don't have to upload anything to your asset library first to then add to the page. You can upload images directly anywhere where it says you can upload them and it will get added to your library. So if I click into edit this image, I've got a few more options here. I can delete or replace. So whether I click replace or if I click delete, and then upload a new image, we're going to get the same options. Again, it's going to say upload file, select from library or browse stock images. So you're going to see this a lot. And if I click select from library or browse stock images, it's going to open up our asset library. So go ahead and click on it. And this is going to look really similar to what we were looking at in the original asset library menu. So you've got your folder and you've got all of these random images that I've got in here. But you'll also see now that we have this image that we initially uploaded just to that image block. So if I wanted to re-upload that image, instead of uploading it from my computer again, the best thing to do would actually just be to open up my library, select the image, and click Add. And this way, I'm just using the same image over and over again instead of uploading a new file every time I wanted to use that same image. 
So it just keeps things a little bit tidier in the back end. And it's pretty fast too because you've already uploaded it to the site and it's just reloading it from your library. There's no downtime waiting for it to upload. So anywhere you can add images around your site, which is in a lot of areas, 99% of the time you'll be able to access that library. If you're uploading images to a gallery or something that accepts more than one image, you'll actually be able to select multiple images and add them. I can't in this instance because I'm just using an image block so it only accepts one image. But if you're uploading a gallery of photos, you'll be able to select all the photos you want and add them in from your library to the gallery at the same time. So that saves a bunch of time. Now, another thing of note that's really cool when you're actually in the editor and you're looking at your image library from this view is that you can also select between free images and premium images. So Squarespace has this direct integration with Unsplash which is an amazing free stock photo library. And then you can choose some from Getty Images as well which I believe you will just pay per image. You can use the search bar up top to search through the images. And if I select an image from Unsplash, it will upload it to the image block, but it's also gonna add it to my asset library. So if I go ahead and click replace just to open up the library and have a look, under my library, you can see that the Unsplash image is now a part of my library. So I could take that, I could put it in a folder, and I could use it throughout my site over and over again. So you don't have to go back into Unsplash and try and find it. So that's pretty much it for the asset library. It's pretty straightforward and then basically it's just a nice way to manage your images. And of course, if you're crazy about organization like I am, you're gonna love the fact that you can add those folders and organize all of your images on your whole site. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to check out this one because you'll probably enjoy it too. Make sure to subscribe because we put out new tutorials every week. So I will see you in the next one.